Hey everybody, Rich here, South Florida beekeeping with Rich. So my buddy Terry called me the other day and said, hey Rich, we've got a uh, irrigation control box full of bees out here if you want to come get them. So I said to him, Terry, I don't have any room. I'll have to check and see if I can find somebody in the club who needs bees. <laughs> and I did. Morning. We got Chris here with the uh, Broward Beekeepers Association and we're going to do this cutout and he's going to take his the bees home. So uh, saves me the trouble. So we'll be back with you in just a second. I just gave him some smoke. Now we're going to see what we're dealing with. Yeah. Well, the other day when I lifted this lid to check it out, I ripped all the comb free down there. Yeah. So we'll just start with getting this part of the comb. Smoke Nope. No smoke nope. Well, they seem pretty gentle at this point. Yeah. Now, see, there's nothing in this. This is not a piece to frame up unless we have extra room later on. Okay. So. Do you have a bin or a bucket or something? No, no, it's just, I'm just gonna set it there for the moment. Okay, sir. I'm just gonna set it on the back here and hopefully some of them crawl down inside. Okay. Nice new column. Yeah. Okay. Rude in the next piece. And do it in the next piece. So I'm going to kind of make that into the next one. Let's take this piece. And you can have this hot jacket on. These are gentle girls. Mm -hmm. Okay, grab a bunch of little bands. You take your gloves off. Let's put some vinegar on. You're going to be, these are gentle girls, and you're going to be way too awkward with those gloves. That is? Yeah. One here and one here.
First one done. No, there was even brood in that little tiny piece. There was even brood in that little tiny one. Sorry for all the background noise. We're on a very busy street here. There's another good reason to get this hive out of here because normally this is a very popular side rock. It just happens to be Easter Sunday, so that's probably why there's not a whole lot of people out walking today, which is a, which is a good thing. This is a very uh, popular exercise route for people. Yep. We don't want anybody getting stung. Another one to the brood, you might want to be paying attention to see if you see a queen. I'm looking here. Yep. That's going to fall over. Yeah. So delicate. Ready? Oh, get one of that first piece. It's already got the tilt. Another one over here. Perfect. Good. Excellent. Can I see that bunch of bees right there? There's a bunch Pretty of bees easy. right here. Yeah. I'm to see. No, I'm not seeing anything. Nothing unusual there. No. Okay. Just checking. All right. 
second verse same as the first? <laughs> I wish it was the same as the first. The thing about sprinkler control boxes is they're full of wires. <laughs> oh, so you can't just cut. This yes, is going to be interesting. Just cut is just awkward and complicated. Huh. See, this is where you want, if you have to, these are so gentle, I'm going to try this without using the PVAC because okay. much less likely to damage the queen that way. Yeah. Right. So, let's uh, get a frame. Get that, get that lid for me there. The black one. And just upside down right here. Okay. Okay. So make sure everybody's clear. The easy way to do this at this point would just be to fire up the bee vac and vacuum most of these bees out. But I think we might already have the queen in there, but I don't know. So I really don't want to take the chance of beating up the queen if I can avoid it. And these bees are so gentle. And here's the thing. On a line of sight from here, about 400 yards, there's a beekeeper with 15 hives. So more than likely, and he does queen replacements and all with uh, properly registered queens. So more than likely, these are super gentle bees. And so far, everything would indicate that. So is the plan that you're just gonna keep cutting until you hit something you shouldn't cut through? <laughs> when you see me go, you'll know I hit something. Oh dear. That doesn't instill me with a lot of confidence. <laughs> well, the part that should worry you isn't that so much as me reaching my hand down in there to try to save this paddle of brood. Yeah. This paddle goes all the way to the bottom. I think you are likely to get stung. I am. So is that left over from when you popped the top the other day? Yeah. Yeah. Bottom. I'd say so. Bottom. Oh, smoke. See? It's attached somewhere. Well, there's a wire like going into it. And it doesn't seem to be coming out of it. I don't understand what I'm looking at. See this wire right here? Mm -hmm. Is that a wire? They covered little, it with yeah. wax. Yeah, well, it goes it's had a moment. But it doesn't come sticking out the other side. So I'm not quite sure what the situation is. Do we know if this is a live? Uh, yes, dear. Box? This, this is a live box. Enjoy. Well, I'm not cutting hard enough to cut through the casings. So that's not really a big problem. As he says, hold my beer and watch the. Oh, I see. This wire comes up, wraps around here, and comes out over here. That's just all covered. That's okay. Got it. So. We're just going to have to sacrifice brood in order to save brood. Wow. Get that sliced up.
can't see why we couldn't see it because it is completely covered. Center it on the bruise, slice here and slice there. Look at all that view. That view. Ready? 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 One more piece down there that I can't have to do that. And most likely has the queen. Because in part you can see Mm -hmm. 
see how every, they're not crawling all around the whole inside of this. They're staying tight there. I mean, there is a piece of brood comb in there. Granted. <laughs> not that you can see it for all the bees. You can take that up to the table. You don't have to bend over here. Is that the last bit of comb? That's it. Mm. I hesitate to say this, but I've seen people scoop them up in their hands. <laughs> yeah, well, let me let me refresh the vinegar a little bit. <laughs> Just a moment. Wow. That's your feet, dear. Bearding uh, on the table. Hanging like, off like crazy on the end of the table. Yeah. Interesting. We see somebody in there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ah, she's marked. She's marked. You got her? No, no, no. I'm sorry. I mistook. A bee with a big orange pollen sack on her leg oh, yeah. from working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's get this set up so that we can uh, get these bees off the end. There you go. I suddenly realized the You'll mark was on the leg instead of the back. Now put yourself a couple of rubber bands right yeah. there. And slide your piece in. Yeah, it'll never stay up there. You have to put it to the bottom. There you go. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you use that frame and see? Somebody told me that you could put a frame of brood up to a swarm and that they would go climb on it. Why don't you put that frame over here and see if they climb on it? Because these are so unstable, I don't want to mess them up. Uh, so I'm just going to do it the easy way. I'm going to take this. Oh, okay. And find the photo. It's on the table too. At least for a few minutes. Yep. That is this box. But you've got the entrance no, closed I up. Have to release the entrance. Oh yeah, you have to release the entrance. You want to see which way they go, huh? In or out? <laughs> I want to see if I can get tempt them to come in. Yeah, sometimes it takes a bit. No, 
coming is going to if these start landing and walking in Detour a little bit. You're good. They're gentle. Getting warm? Uh, no, I'm just not going to reach down in there with my hand to go jacket on. Uh, I'd rather get stung. Now this is all recorded. My wife's encouraging me to do this. I'm not encouraging you. For all you people nothing. who think she's a sweet person. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> oh, the scooping up by hand. Yeah, actually I did I did say that. It does seem to be working. Are you scooching them in? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to bump that one spot because I thought there was a possibility there was a queen there. Yeah. What do we got? Is that your queen? No. But oh, we, got, we have nays and We got butts in the air. We have nays on. Oh, oh yes. We have butts in the air. That means we have the queen. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, yeah, I think so. Is there a, a big... lot of bees in the bottom? It's hard for me to see. Um, I've, I've seen worse. I'll put it that way. Okay. Yep. Well, we're down to one layer. And one layer of bees is not really something you scoop. <laughs> so we're just down to one layer. These, the are, inside, these are flying up and going, landing on the Landing bottom board, board and, and they in. are going in. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing now. So So we know we have what we need to have. I'm pretty sure the phone's in there, okay? Okay. Instead of going back to their location, but they're going into here. And they wouldn't do that unless they were smelling the queen. Now, of course, you do have to understand one thing. I scoop those bees and I put them on the landing board, which means that the, uh, if the queen was in one of those scoops, she's under the queen excluded. So once you get them where they're going, it won't matter. They can't come back here. So you can take the queen excluder off. The bees under, if there's anything left under it, it'll go up and then you can put it back to the Yeah, good point. Anything big in the back? And I don't see any clumps. I don't see any court or retinue or anything that would lead me to believe that she was down here. Nope. Okay, that's nope. good. So if she was down there, then she would in the clump. So I think, uh, I think you're safe. But that was a very good thought because it could have easily been the other way.
And often they do what you don't want them to do. <laughs> Well, they're still landing and going in. Yep. In fact, they're flying up out of the meter box, buzzing around a little bit, and then going in. At least that's what I was seeing. You can put the uh, screened inner cover on and your top cover. So the girls that are still this in the meter yeah. box. Uh -huh. Is there enough worth using the bee back on? Every bee is worth saving. Dude. No. Well, like I say, when bees are three and four thick, yeah. scooping's a reasonable thing to do, but when they're one layer yeah. on the side, then you're scraping. Yeah. And right. you're going to end up with pinched bees, and when you get a pinched bee, what do you get next? Feather? No. Well, oh, yeah, we could get <laughs> I don't know where you're going, but... But you notice I had to get on this side because it's a right-handed feather. And I'm left -handed. Smoke. I need the vinegar. The vinegar gets rid of the, the alarm pheromone that the bee releases when she stings him, so that other bees know to sting that spot. So if you use the vinegar, the idea is that you won't get stung again. As you can see, I'm not getting stuck again. Oh, that's a lot of bees. I think I'm going to hook up the bee back. <laughs> okay. I haven't used it in like almost a year. I guess people like to see it. Well, this is an opportune moment. Well, like you said, you haven't used it in a while.
just going to give him a second to climb up. Oh yeah. Wow. There were a lot of bees in that box. And if you hadn't used the bee vacuum, they would have all been homeless. <laughs> there we go. All right. You won't keep doing that for you know, long. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where you put that back on that. All these are in the air from being dumped. Right. We want them to fly back there or in here. We don't want them to go back down. Yep, and the bees are marching in. Yep, they are. Ladies and gentlemen, we have You want to put the other two frames in there before he locks them up. Yep. That'll make it easier when you get to uh, the apiary. Going in there over in that corner. Yes. Oh. Most of them are just landing here and going. In. Yeah, some of them are going back in. Hmm. Hey, I, I get the memo. Well, once it didn't get the memo, we're just going to get left behind. <laughs> no, I mean. One's going back in this way. I love this bee vac. You won't, I, I mean, I have done removals, drop them all in, check the next day, and there would only be. And this is what the truck covered. They can't take the dead bees anywhere. You check them, and there's only one or two dead bees in the bottom. And that's clean for our recording. 
another minute or two, the uh, uh, craziness will be over. We can go ahead and you can put that down on there now. All the way around. Get so much rot on a no, this is ghost. Oh, it's ghost. Ghost. <laughs> okay. Coming from this angle, yeah. you can you got it, you got plenty of light down in there. Kind of like just like can stand the right angle. Well, I like your theory, but the meter box covers upside down. So your your hole is on the wrong side. Wasn't a hole over there? Yes, dear girl. All I want the bees to do is, this is the only spot of sunlight is there now. Oh, they'll I see. They'll come up to here and they'll crawl into the box. I the see. Side. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, well, hopefully the, the bees get it. <laughs> well, we have a few minutes while we load off all this equipment. Yep. And the last thing to go will be the box. Yep. All right. Yeah, if this wasn't in such a public place, I'd say come back for the box at nightfall. Oh, no. But. So this is a few minutes later. And as you can see, the bees are marching up from the water meter hole to the box. They're just not doing it very quickly. But they will get there. It's pretty quick. Okay, so we're getting ready to wrap it up and we're just going to wait a few more minutes before you take the hive. Where's this hive, go hive going to go, Chris? Heritage Park. Heritage Park, Park Apiary. Apiary. Cool. So. Well, this will be Chris's second hive at the Apiary, which will top him out. He's got himself a box full of really sweet bees here. He's going to hang out for another 20, 30 minutes for these last few to go in. He'll get a whole lot of field force as they're coming back, as he does say. And uh, that's it. That's a wrap for us. Chris got himself some new bees and we got a video out of it. Have a great day, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>